Today, we're talking about the six pros and the four cons of an eye drop called Timolol. Now, this is one of the first glaucoma medications that ever existed. Now, like all glaucoma eye drops, the purpose of Timolol is to lower the eye pressure to help treat either ocular hypertension or glaucoma of the eye. So if you have glaucoma or high eye pressure, your eye doctor may have talked to you about this eye drop. Stick around because we are getting into everything that you need to know about this medication. Hi, everyone. My name is Dr. Sai Nagori. I'm a board certified ophthalmologist and a fellowship trained glaucoma specialist, and you're watching the iFacts.com channel. Okay, so first we're gonna talk about the six pros of Timolol, and then we'll get into the cons. Pro number one. Timolol is one of the original eye drops, kind of the OG eye drop when it comes to glaucoma. So this eye drop has been around for a long time and one of the biggest pros about that is that it's been well studied and we know a lot about the eye drop. There's good data to show that it works well to lower your eye pressure and it's very, very commonly used, not just in the United States, in Canada and the UK, but in countries all around the world. In fact, in places around the world where it can actually be hard to get some of the newer generation glaucoma medications, usually you can find Timolol. This is especially helpful for a lot of my patients who will travel to other countries countries for extended periods of time to visit family or go on vacation. And so it's always nice that if needed, they can get the eye drop somewhere else. Pro number two of six is that Timolol has a very, very low rate of eye allergy, and it usually does not cause eye redness in the majority of patients. So most patients tolerate Timolol really well when it comes to their ocular side effects. We're gonna talk about systemic side effects a little bit later, but it really does not have a high rate of having eye redness or eyelid changes. Now, this is a huge pro as a glaucoma specialist because so many of my patients who are on other eye drops that they use to lower their eye pressure, a lot of them do cause eye redness. And some of it is just very, very common for those drops. And patients don't really like that. So while Timolol does have some downsides, which we will go over in a minute, it is really good in terms of being well tolerated by the eye itself. Pro number three of Timolol. So Timolol comes in a variety of combinations, and this is actually really great for compliance. So Timolol can be available in combination with other eye drops like dorzolamide. It can also be in combination with something called bromonidine. So that means you get two eye drops in one bottle. And this is really, really helpful because if you're a glaucoma patient who is taking tons and tons of eye drops throughout the day, being able to take less eye drops while still getting double the pressure lowering effect from those two different types of medications, this is really, really helpful for compliance because if you are someone who is taking a ton of glaucoma medications for your glaucoma, it can be really frustrating to carry all the different bottles around and then you're supposed to wait 15 minutes in between the eye drops so having two medications in one bottle is really helpful. So those combinations that are available for Timolol and another medication are really, really helpful for compliance, which means that the patient finds it easier to actually stick to their medication regimen. Pro number four about Timolol. So Timolol eye drops work pretty quickly. If someone comes into the office or the emergency room with high eye pressure, this eye drop can work within two hours to start to lower their pressure and it continues to work to keep the pressure low for close to 24 hours. Now let's talk about pro number five, and this is that the Timolol eye drop can be prescribed once daily or twice daily. And it is a little unique in that way because typically we will do an eye drop as just once daily or twice daily. But with Timolol, there is a little bit flexibility. So I would say that the majority of patients usually end up on Timolol twice daily, but there definitely is an option to put it on just once a day and see if that is enough medication to prevent the glaucoma from progressing in the patient. Now, pro number six about Timolol may surprise you because it's not directly related to how Timolol eye drops work, but Timolol is a great glaucoma medication because it's very affordable. Now, for patients who are using glaucoma eye drops for years to keep their eye disease under control, it's really important that these patients can actually get their eye drops without breaking the bank because this is a chronic disease, which means it requires chronic surveillance and chronic treatment. Now, one of the biggest issues that I have as a glaucoma doctor is that sometimes I want to prescribe my patient an eye drop, but they will go to the pharmacy and come back and say it's not covered or it's $300 out of pocket. And that's really not reasonable 
reasonable for a patient to be expected to pay $300 a month for their medication that's going to save them from going blind. So one of the best things about Timolol is that it's typically well covered by most insurance plans and you can actually buy it out of pocket for typically very affordable prices if you just go online and enter your prescription into one of the online pharmacies. Glaucoma can only be well controlled if the medications that we use to control it are actually accessible to those patients. So if an eye drop is going to be a really astronomical price for a patient and they can't actually go out and spend that kind of money every month to get their eye drop, it's not really a reasonable treatment. So in that sense, Timolol is great because typically coverage is really good. And if you don't have coverage, typically you can get it out of pocket for anywhere from 10 to 25 bucks a bottle. Okay, now let's get into the four cons of Timolol. Number one is having local ocular side effects. Not very common, but really typically just happens when you're putting the eye drop in. So you'll get some burning or stinging at the time of installation. You may also have some dry eyes and foreign body sensation, but really eye redness and eyelid redness is uncommon and like I said before it is usually a well tolerated eye drop now most eye drops will sting a little bit when you put them in the eyes so this is not unique to Timolol but it is worth mentioning now con number two is one of the reasons that I actually may not use Timolol on certain patients and this is the potential for Timolol to cause potential side effects in your heart and lungs this can happen by the eye drop actually getting absorbed into the bloodstream which is called systemic absorption now Timolol is actually a beta block which means it has the potential to affect the heart and lungs, which is the cardiovascular system and the respiratory system. Now it's not common, but it is possible that the drop can cause a slower heart rate in patients called bradycardia. It can also cause an irregular heart rhythm called an arrhythmia. It's also possible, but again, not likely that it would call a slow blood pressure and other heart issues. Now for some patients, their lungs could be more affected than their heart and they could get something called bronchospasm or trouble breathing, respiratory failure. Now, all of those sound pretty bad, right? Well, the good news is, is that these side effects are usually only seen in patients who already have some sort of pre-existing condition with their heart or lungs. So this is definitely something that we will ask patients before putting them on Timolol or a drug that has Timolol in it. And then also we will tell them that even if you don't have any of these pre-existing conditions, if you have any strange side effects or feel lightheaded or just unwell, stop taking the eye drop and get medical help as soon as possible. Con number three is that Timolol can mask the side effects of something called hypoglycemia. So hypoglycemia is the word for low blood sugar and this specific effect with Timolol can happen in patients who have insulin dependent diabetes and it can be problematic because it can delay the recognition and treatment of the hypoglycemia. Now, one of the things that I tell my patients when they're putting in their Timolol eye drops is to hold their finger over the drainage system of their eyes where the tears actually exit the eye right here. So you put the eye drop in and you can hold your finger right here for about 60 seconds. And that actually helps the Timolol to stay in the eye and it, less of it ends up into the body and bloodstream. And now some systemic absorption is inevitable, but typically it's pretty minimal and doesn't cause any issues. Now the fancy term for putting your finger here and sort of putting pressure there to keep the Timolol in the eye and not have it get into the bloodstream is called punctal occlusion. Con number four of Timolol eye drops is that it can make muscle weakness worse in certain patients. Again, this is not very common, but if you are someone who has a disease called myasthenia gravis, it could cause you to have eyelid weakening and difficulty with your eye muscles. So these are all questions that we will ask patients before we prescribe it. And when Timolol can be safely prescribed, it's really a pretty good option for glaucoma treatment. And it's widely used by many patients all over the world. What questions do you have about glaucoma? Drop them in the comments below and I'll try to answer it in a future video. Hope you found this helpful. Remember to hit subscribe below and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.